Welcome to the latest episode of Creo Parametric for SOLIDWORKS users. In this video, we're going to take a look at terminology. We're going to cover 25 terms that are different in SOLIDWORKS compared to Creo Parametric, and terminology is important. Back when I used to teach Introduction to Pro Engineer, SOLIDWORKS students would get confused by terms like constraints and mates, and also you might be trying to get some help from somebody and they might be using different terms than you are expecting. First off, let's take a look at the interface. In the upper part of the screen, you can see what Creo Parametric calls the ribbon in SOLIDWORKS. That is called the command manager. On the left-hand side of the screen in Creo Parametric, where you have the model tree, that is called the feature manager design tree. In the upper middle part of the graphics area in Creo Parametric, you have the in graphics toolbar in SOLIDWORKS that is called the heads up toolbar. Also, if you right click on an object in Creo Parametric, you get the mini toolbar in SOLIDWORKS that is called the pop up toolbar. And lastly, let's say that I go to create a feature, I will click on the whole wizard. In Creo Parametric, when you are creating or editing the definition of a feature, you will get a dashboard that opens up at the top of the screen. In SOLIDWORKS, that is called the Property Manager, and it will open up on the left-hand side of the screen where the Feature Manager design tree is. Let me cancel out of that operation. Next, let's take a look at sketching. I'm going to expand a feature in the feature manager design tree. Let's select this sketch and then I will choose edit sketch from the pop-up toolbar. And now I am in sketch mode. If you're looking for the project command from Creo Parametric, that is called convert entities. Also, constraints in a sketch in Creo Parametric, those are called relations in SOLIDWORKS. Let me go to the drop down over here. We can choose the add relation command. You can see the property manager for that. If I select an entity from the sketch, well, you can select the different kinds of relations that you want to apply to that entity. Let me hit the check mark out of there and then let's cancel out of the sketch. Let's discard the changes. Next up, let's take a look at some of the commands in a part mode. Before we do that though, take a look in the feature manager design tree. Here we have the front plane, the top plane, and the right plane. In Creole Parametric, those are called the default datums. In SOLIDWORKS, those are the primary planes. Now let's take a look at some of the commands in the command manager, also known as the ribbon in Creole Parametric. In Creole, you have an extrude command. Well, that is the extruded boss base command or the extruded cut command. If you go to the surfaces tab, you also have the extruded surface command there. In Creole Parametric, you have a revolve command. That is the revolved surface command. Or let me go back to the features tab. You have the revolved boss base and the revolved cut commands. And let's take a look. Here we have the swept boss base and the swept cut. Well, that is the same thing as a sweep and a lofted boss base or a lofted cut. That is the same thing as a blend in Creo Parametric. And another big name difference in Creo Parametric, you have rounds. Well, those are called fillets in SOLIDWORKS. Now let's go back to the surfaces tab and in Creo Parametric, you have a fill surface. Well, that is actually the same thing as a planar surface in SOLIDWORKS. Here in my sheet metal part, you can see that we have the base flange feature. The base flange feature is the first feature that you create in sheet metal. Let me go to the sheet metal tab. Here you can see the base flange tab. That is the same thing as the extrude command in sheet metal mode in Creo Parametric. Another one, let's take a look over at some other different commands. In Creo Parametric, you have a flange wall, which is a kind of secondary wall that's attached to a primary wall or another wall in the model. 
The job of the flange wall in Creo Parametric is actually done by a few different commands. You have the edge flange, the miter flange, the hem command, and the jog command. So they're all sort of like different specialty versions of flange walls. And also in Creo Parametric, where you have bends, that is called a sketched bend in SOLIDWORKS. All right, now let's take a look at assembly mode. Just a few different terms here. So what are called constraints in Creo Parametric are called mates in SOLIDWORKS. And as I've covered in a few different videos, mates in SOLIDWORKS are more like assembly level features. And you put your components into the assembly and then you add mates. Let me cancel out of the mate command. Here you can see the different mates that are in this assembly. Also in Creo Parametric, they just added the capability to have embedded components and inseparable assemblies. In SOLIDWORKS, that's called being virtual or making a virtual part. So for example, if I right click on a component, you can make it virtual so that individual part model will be inside of the assembly. And also where you have mechanisms in assembly mode, that is a motion study in SOLIDWORKS. Now let's cover five different general terms that you have in both Creo Parametric and SOLIDWORKS. First off, in Creo Parametric, if you want to build a mathematical equation between different dimensions of features or parameters, that is called a relation. In SOLIDWORKS, that is called an equation. If I go to the tools drop down, here we have the equations command, and this is what the equations editor looks like. Let me cancel out of there. Similar to your relations and equations, uh, you also have parameters in Creo Parametric. Hey, let's go over to the file menu, and here we have the properties command. So you have your different properties where you can capture different dimensions or string values. Hey, parameters in Creo Parametric are called properties in SOLIDWORKS. Also, family tables. Well, family tables are pretty much configurations in SOLIDWORKS. It's not exactly the same functionality, but it's close enough. If someone is talking about different configurations of or a part or an assembly, that's like a family table in Creo Parametric. Let me jump back over to the Feature Manager design tree. You can create groups of features or components in the model tree in Creo Parametric. Hey, in SOLIDWORKS, you can put different objects in a folder. So you can make folders of features and folders of components in order to organize the Feature Manager design tree. And the last term to take a look at is regenerate in Creo Parametric, and that is called rebuild. And in Creo Parametric, the keyboard shortcut of regenerate is Control G. In SOLIDWORKS, it is Control B for rebuilding. And so there you have it, 25 different terms in SOLIDWORKS and Creo Parametric.